Welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. This day kind of got away from me. This wood right here uh, was going to be used for bundle firewood and stacked in baskets, but I need my dump trailer first thing in the morning, and it's going to get dark soon. No big deal though, you can scoop it back up with the uh, firewood bucket. Uh, we like to split into the dump trailer when we can. Uh, that way when you're stacking in the baskets, everything's at waist height, but you can do the same thing with the firewood bucket. But I need my uh, dump trailer because I'm heading out about uh, 5 a.m. tomorrow morning to go down to West Virginia. And I'm going to use this to haul some uh, white pine logs home with me. But anyway, I'm going to load up some saws and stuff and make sure I have everything I need. And uh, I'll report back tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. I mentioned this before. I hate leaving to go on a trip like at 5.05 for some reason. If I'm leaving at 5, I have to leave at 5 or a few minutes before. So I'll report back in the morning. All right, it is 4.59 a.m., 34 degrees, ready to hit the road. All right, just entering West Virginia. The sun's coming up. Looks like it's going to be a pretty nice day. All right, just pulling in. I'm going to get a saw ready to go. Uh, Randy will be here in just a bit. But we're going to be working back there where the cabin's going. There's two white pines over there that we're going to take out. He'll dig the stumps out. Uh, we'll load up the logs. I've got a little bit of uh, rock right there we'll use to fill that stump hole. Track it all in. And i got a big pile of rock there to put on the pad to get ready for concrete. All right, I got the uh, 500i ready to go. I'm a few minutes early. Uh, Randy will be here probably about 10 or 15 minutes. While I'm waiting, I'm gonna go over there to the other side of the circle drive. I've got a tree that the uh, top blew out of it. I'm gonna take that stub down and uh, limb it up. I'll get at least one log out of it. So we got uh, Randy here. I met Randy, that was a while back when we first bought this down here. And you put the culvert pipe in down below. Yeah. But we're just did, uh, admiring his handiwork here. Tell me what you got here. I love this. It's a compaction wheel for the excavator. It's a culvert pipe with Dodge front wheel bearings and just some scrap steel I kind of threaded together. And I built that and you just hook your bucket in there and tighten those down. That way you don't have to uncouple all the time. That's nice. Yeah, he was uh, thinking ahead because we're digging out those stumps and we need to get some compaction back in. And this is a great idea too. Here, you built this as well? Yeah, to carry all my attachments, just hooks on the blade. Yeah, hooks right on the blade, you can unload it. That's really nice. I even built the trailer. <laughs> oh, you built the trailer too? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you should go more towards excavating or fabricating. Yeah, I like to do a little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's really nice. This is a great idea right here. I've seen, I saw one other of these before where a guy had one, but uh, that's a really good idea. I couldn't find any, like just this. Now I've seen the, what they call it, the blade buddy, which is a bucket. Yeah. To, you know, you can carry materials, which you can also put stuff into, but I didn't really need to carry materials. I just wanted something to, throw all my attachments in to take with me right and this machine it's about eight thousand pounds yeah like 7600 is what it says nice very good well i guess we should get busy yeah <laughs>
All right, so we got all the trees down. I'm uh, backing out of here right now. Randy and Emmett are going to work on uh, cleaning those trees up, and they're going to start digging the stumps. I'm going to head to the quarry and just get a couple tons of rock. I've got a few a uh, few tons sitting up there right now, but once he gets those stumps dug out, uh, we want to mix some dirt, some rock, and he'll use that compaction wheel, and uh, we'll try to get the best compaction we can in those stump holes. The cabin or the pad isn't going to be right where that is, maybe right on the edge of it. We'll have to see, but uh, we might as well get it done as best we can right now. I better start paying attention to what I'm doing here.
Yeah. You did good, Randy. I was gone for, I think, an hour and 10 minutes. Oh, really? Yeah. What do you think? Okay, let's stop there and let's walk over this way and we can see it dump out, okay? I'll get more cord out. Here you go, right here. Come over here. That button. Here it comes. What do you think of that? Good, he got both these stumps out. Just getting them backfilled now. We'll spread this uh, little bit of base rock in here. He's gonna try to strip some more of the stuff off of here first. Then I'll be ready to go for tomorrow. Yeah, that's nice. He's even got the uh, cleaners on there. That's nice. So Randy is the, uh, he's a jack of all trades right there. He, uh, he does remodeling, excavating, logging, fabricating. I know I'm forgetting a bunch of other things. But yeah, he does it all. Impressive young man. While uh, Randy's finishing up there, I want to come over here and show you something. I may have showed you this in a video before. I'm not sure. But every time I come down here, I'm keeping my eye on this one tree. Where do you see this thing? These are the uh, hardwoods on the property. Uh, Probably not even a third of the property's hardwoods. Everything else is uh, white and red pine. And these trees aren't this old, aren't that old. They're probably, I don't know, 50, 60 years old. You know, the bigger ones. This big old cherry right here. Nice and straight. And it has all these... Uh, little bumps on the bark I'm not an expert on this but this see this is either like curly cherry be my best guess or it may even be like you know like you've seen bird's eye maple I don't know but I think there's some really really nice figure in that wood in there 
That's a big cherry. Once we get the uh, cabin set, you know, there's still going to be a ton of work to do. We got to finish the inside, uh, the bathroom, septic, all that kind of stuff. We're going to put in a cistern tank. But once we get, you know, a place to stay here, I'll start dealing with all these trees. Uh, over on the other side of where Randy's working there, I've got a huge pile of, uh, you know, tops and limbs, some stumps, all that stuff. And you can burn down here, you know, the right time of year. And we'll just kind of pick away at it. At some point, I'll get like my excavator down here, come down here for like a week and just get everything cleaned up around here. But uh, it's going to be a really nice setting for a cabin here. That little balcony on the front of it on the second floor, it'll be looking out that direction right there. On the back of the cabin, we'll have a nice patio with a fire ring. Be nice. He's getting it shaped up nice. A couple hours ago, those two big pines were right in there. I was thinking that was the biggest one, but I think uh, that stub that I cut down is bigger. Bringing home the lumber. Did a nice job, Randy. Thanks. There'll be a lot of people get ideas from uh, that and this right here. Probably. That's a nice setup. You should start making these. I've thought about it. All right, Randy just took off. Got a really nice load of uh, white pine here. We're going to head over to uh, Oakland in Deep Creek, Maryland. We're going to make a couple stops. And then we're going to head on home. We'll drop this trailer off. And I'll hook up to the deck over. Load up the tractor and get ready to come back down tomorrow. All right, I just stopped at uh, Garrett Equipment Rental to make sure the roller was coming tomorrow. And I talked to Nick. Uh, we'll have the roller there, so we should be all set. Um, Melissa and I will come down tomorrow morning with the LX. We'll roll everything real good, spread that last uh, load of stone, and get everything on grade and ready for concrete. Right now I'm going to stop at uh, Tri-State Gazebo and see Danny Miller. I think he may come out in the next day or two to kind of check everything out. Once the concrete is poured, uh, we'll probably wait about a week before we uh, put weight on it. And um, I know he wants to come back out, check everything out. And uh, it's going to be quite a chore. It is. I can't wait to see them haul that cabin in there. I did that video several months ago, well, last fall, of them moving one of these cabins in. And it's uh, pretty impressive. This one, ours, they're going to have a one-lane bridge they have to cross with guardrails on it. And he says they can do it. So we'll see. We're getting pretty close to uh, Deep Creek Lake. But uh, not a lot of leaves on the trees here yet. It's a higher elevation, I guess is why. But uh, we have more at home than they do down here. And we're like two hours south of uh, where I live. So I just stopped here at uh, Tri-State Gazebo. We've shown this place before. 
Uh, this is where we're getting our cabin. It's uh, similar to that one, but ours is uh, bigger and dormers on both sides and different siding. But we're getting some furniture. Melissa picked out the colors and told me what she wanted. Hopefully I don't screw this up. Now the furniture is actually gonna go home for the patio, you know, over there at the building. But we're getting a square, high top table, four chairs for it that swivel, and then uh, four Adirondack chairs as well for around the fire pit. This is like their satellite operation. They have a bigger place with a whole bunch more uh, maybe three or four miles from here, but Danny's a great guy to work with and uh, Yeah, these are the Adirondack chairs our colors are gonna be a little bit different, but uh, that's the style that we're getting These will be kind of The style of chair that we're getting for the high top table. But they'll be two-tone. All right, I just got home. Give you a look at these logs right here. What do you think, oh, Melissa? They're huge. Yeah, this one here is the biggest. Wow. It's probably, I know 25 inch bar didn't reach, so it's probably 28 inches, but uh, a lot of white pine right there. Yeah, standing. I don't know, they didn't look that big. <laughs> I know. Big around. This was that one that the top was broke out of. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was that one right there. Okay. Wow. But anyway, I'm going to drop this trailer and uh, hook up to the deck over trailer. Okay. And load up for tomorrow. It's almost like on the road again. On the road again. So it's about uh, 6 o'clock right now. I left the house about 5 this morning not too bad about uh what is that 13 hours today and about six of that was on the road so we had a pretty good day and tomorrow melissa's coming with me and we're going to go down there and get the cabin site on grade perfect got the roller coming we'll set up the laser we'll stake out the cabin or the concrete pad and uh it should go pretty good i mean i think the weather looks decent and i think that's about it anything you'd like to add melissa no, I'm back here. I'm going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I make sure all that's done right. She'll supervise. That's right. And she'll help. Yeah, I'm anxious to uh, see it happen yeah. together. So. But I think that's about it. I appreciate you all being here, and uh, we will catch you on the next one.